In this weekly learning pocket, we will be dealing with variations. There are four types of variations, direct variation, inverse, inverse or indirect variation, joint variation, and combined variation. Let's start first with direct variation. Direct variation. Direct variation is defined when one value increases, the other value also decreases. Or, when one value decreases, the other value also decreases. In short, when one quantity always changes by the same factor, that is refer uh, refers to the constant of proportionality, the two quantities are directly proportional. Direct variation can be related to proportion where we generate the equation from the formula y sub 1 over x sub 1 equals again y sub 1 over x sub 1 equals y sub 2 over x sub 2 the term direct variation and direct proportion mean the same thing they, you can use it interchangeably and the term constant of variation and constant of proportionality is also the same. Now here are some real world examples of direct variation. The more time I drive at a constant rate, the more miles I go. The more hours I work, the more money I make. And the more CDs I purchase, the more money it costs. And the less water you drink, the less trips to the bathroom you have to make. The recreation equations are follows. Y varies directly as the X means that Y equals KX, where K is the constant of variation. Another way of writing this is K equals Y over X x here is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable k again is the constant of variation take note that the measures of the x axis are the independent variable this means they do not depend on the y on the y values the measure in the y axis are the dependent variable this means they do depend on the x variables for its value. Direct variation can be expressed in a table of values, equations, and graphs. Now, we will have three set of examples in each type of variation. Example A. Translate each statement to an equation using k as the constant of variation. Number 1. The quantity L varies directly as the quantity of Q. That would be L equals KQ. Again, K here represents as a constant of variation. Number 2. The total cost of apples varies directly as the price per kilo. So we represent C as the cost of the apple and small letter P for the price per kilo of the apple. And that would be C equals KP. Number three, the pressure of the gas is directly proportional as the temperature T. We represent the pressure of the gas with P and the temperature with T. And with that, we have P equals KT. On our second set of example, we will find the constant of variation and the equation of the variation. Given that the Y varies directly as X. Number 1. Y equals 12 when X is 3. Solution. First, you need to translate y virus directly as x. And we, if we translate that one into an equation, this would be the equation. y equals kx. Next, substitute y 
with 12 and x with 3. So that would be 12 equals k times 3. Remember, every time you substitute the value of any variable, make sure to enclose it first with parentheses. Next, divide both sides by 3. In this case, you have here 12 divided by 3. On the other side of the equation, you have 3 times k over 3. And as we divide both sides by 3, we can cancel out 3, which results 4 equals k. Or shall I say, by symmetric property, that would be k equals 4. And k or the value of our k, which is 4, would be our constant of variation. And if we write our equation of variation, that would be y equals 4x. Number 2, we have here a table, but we only need at least one pair. One value of x and one value of y. First, translate y varies directly as x. That would be y equals kx. Next, substitute y with 2. We use 2 as the value of our y. Of course, x would be 620. So in that case, that would be 2 equals k times 620. Again, make sure to enclose in parentheses every time you substitute the value of any variable. Divide both sides by 620 to get the value of our k. As we divide, we can cancel out 620 and with that, we get 1 over 310 equals k. Or using symmetric property of equality, k is equals to 1 over 310. And for our equation of variation, we will have y equals 1 over 310x. Now, for our last set of example for direct variation, this time we're going to solve some problems related to direct variation. Number one. Given that y and x are directly proportional and y equals 20 when x is equals to 5, Find the value of y when x is 15. First, you need to get the value of your k or the value of your constant operation so that you can create your equation of variation. So, y equals kx. We translate the given statement into an equation. Afterwards, substitute y with 20, x with 5. So with that, you have there 20 equals k times 5. And as we simplify, that would be 20 equals 5k. Next, you need to divide both sides by 5 to get the value of k. So as we divide both sides by 5, we cancel out 5. And as we cancel out 5, 20 divided by 5, that's 4. So 4 equals k. And by symmetric property of equality, k equals 4. And that would be our constant of variation. Next, we need to look for the equation of variation. Our equation of variation is y equals 4x. Next, use the equation use y equals 4x to find the value of y when x is 15. So we will use that one. Then substitute x with 15. Simplify 4 times 15, that would be 60. Therefore, y is 60 when x is Number 2. A risograph machine can copy 100 pages in 2 minutes. How many books of 250 pages can the machine copy in 20 minutes? Solution, again, translate the given statement into an equation. Before that, you need to let y be the pages of the risograph machine and x be the representation for the number of minutes it can copy. y equals kx. 
y here is 100, x here is 2. 100 equals k times 2. And as we simplify, we need to cancel out 2 so that we can get the value of our k, which is the constant of variation. And as we cancel out 2, we get 100 divided by 2, that is 50. 50 equals k. And by symmetric property of equality, that's k equals to 50. And that would be our constant of variation. For our equation, that would be y equals 50x. Now, we need to use this equation to find y when x is 20 or when there is 20 minutes in copying a certain pages or using the risograph machine. So, y is equals to 50x. Substitute x with 20. 50 times 20, that's 1,000. But that is not yet the value that we are looking for because the question asks how many books, not pages. That means we still, to, we still need to divide 1,000 pages with 250 pages. And that is 4. Therefore, we can produce 4 books in 20 minutes. The next type of variation that we will be dealing is the inverse or indirect variation. Inverse variation. Inverse variation is defined as when one value increases, the other value decreases. Or when one value decreases, the other value increases. The term inverse variation and inverse proportion are just the same. Or we can use this one interchangeably. Inverse variation can be related to the concept of proportion where we generate the equation from the formula x sub 1 times y sub 1 equals x sub 2 times y sub 2. Now, here are some real-world examples of inverse variation. The more people working on the task, it will be completed, and less people will take longer. If you travel at a distance at a slower speed, the more time you travel. Third, the more slices we can make in a pizza, the smaller size we received. So, in inverse variation, it produces an equation y varies inversely as x, which means that y equals k over x. Or still, where k is the constant of variation. Another way of writing this is k is equals to xy. K still is the constant of variation. Inverse variation can be expressed in table of values, equations, and in graphs. Now, again, we will have three set of examples in expressing or in our variation. So, example A, we will translate each statement to an equation using K as the constant of variation. Number one, the electric current in amperes in a circuit varies inversely as the resistance. We represent capital letter I with the current and R for the resistance. So I equals K over R. Next, the weight of two kids on a seesaw vary in inversely as their corresponding distance from the fulcrum. W equals K over D. Next, you have here number 3. U is inversely proportional with the square of P. So, U equals K over P squared. In our second set of example, we need to find the constant of variation and equation of variation given that Y varies inversely as X. y is 10 when x is 4. So for our solution, we need to translate y virus inversely as x. And that would be y equals k over x. Next, substitute y with 10 and x with 4. So that would be 10 equals k over 4. Next, multiply both sides by 4. That would be 4 times 10 equals k over 4 times 4. 
with that we can cancel out 4 or we can simplify that would be k or we can simplify so with that k is a 40 equals k because 4 because 4 times 10 is 40 so for a constant operation k equals 40 and for a equation operation y equals 40 over x number two this is our table for the solution translate y varies inversely as x just get one pair of x and y values make sure it's pair so we have there substitute y with 2 i used y as 2 then x would be 1 fourth so that would be 2 equals k over 1 fourth and as we simplify this this would be equals to 2 equals 4k we need to divide both sides by 4 to cancel out 4 and we can get the value of k as we cancel 4 that would be 1 half equals k by symmetric property of equality k is equals to 1 half and that will serve also as our constant of variation the equation of variation would be y equals 1 over 2x example c solve the following problem number one given that y and x are inversely proportional and y equals one half when x is 12 find the value of y and x is 24. Solution, we need to translate the given statement into an equation. y equals k over x. y here is 1 half, x is 12. Substitute, and as we substitute, that would be like that. So to cancel out 12 to get the value of k, we need to multiply both sides by 12. So 12 times 1 half equals k over 12 times 12. We can cancel out 12 on that side. And that would be 6 equals k. 6 because 12 times 1 half is 6. And by symmetric property of equality, k is equals to 6. And that would be our constant of variation. Next, as we generate our equation of variation, that would be y equals 6 over x. Now, use this equation to find y when x is 24. y equals 6 over x. Substitute x with 24, 6 over 24 is 1 fourth. Therefore, y is 1 fourth when x is 24. If two, number 2. If two persons can place 10 pails of water in 20 minutes, then how many minutes will it take if 5 persons will do the same job? So let y be the time of the job can be done and x with number of person who can do the same job so translate the equation translate the statement into an equation 20 equals k over 2 20 because the time of the job can be done is good for 20 minutes and there are two persons who did this job and they finished it in 20 minutes next two to cancel out to get the value of k, we need to cancel out 2 by multiplying 2 on both sides. So you have there 2 times 20 equals k over 2 times 2. With that, we can cancel out 2. So that would be 40 equals k because 2 times 20 is 40. And by symmetric property of equality, k equals 40. And that would be our k, that would be our constant of variation. And with that, we can produce our equation of variation, which is y equals 40 over x and use this equation to find y when x is 5 so y equals 40 over x y equals 40 divided by 5 y is 8 therefore there are five persons can finish the same job in eight minutes only